Hello, and welcome to another episode of Video Game Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about Steam World Quest, The Hand of Gilgamech, on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I'm going to try to keep this review pretty short and to the point. You know, good luck with that, right? <laughs> Let's see, so this is a turn-based role-playing game. Uh, so what I like about it is, uh, as you can see in the background there, the graphical style I think is very appealing. It's, uh, yeah, it's very charming. Um, it's got a great look to it. I also like the fact that the battle system is, is fairly unique, might be a stretch, but it's, it's definitely unusual and it's, it's pretty interesting, on paper at least. Um, and it essentially works like, uh, the... Magic the Gathering card game or, or any one of those games, right? So each round you get so many um, essentially mana points and then you have cards, you can play up to three cards but each card uses mana points and you know some of the cards use a different amount, you know, usually one, two or th three mana points per card depending on what it is and you know you can uh, you use cards for everything. So like healing, magic spells, stat buffs, you know, and as well as standard and special attacks. Everything is through these cards and so you need mana to do everything. And then also, uh, depending on which cards you play, you can also get bonus mana uh, the following round, if I remember correctly. And so that's, that's something that I really enjoyed about this game is that's different enough to be interesting and and the battles here actually require some thought and planning you're not just you know mashing the button over and over again to select fight 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 like a lot of your you know classic final fantasy games uh so that's that at least on paper is a positive now i will say i do want to put a disclaimer out there i bought and played through this game ages ago okay so I played through this game before I had even started this channel so I wasn't r capturing any footage so I just had to go through last night and just capture some random footage for, from the beginning of the game to to play for you guys in the background you know and, and also to to give me a little refresher on the game and its systems and and what exactly I did and didn't like about it so I could share that with you all and you can then decide if it's if you think it's something that's worth your time So as I said the 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 things that really stand out to me that I like about this game are the graphics and the fact that the battle system is unique uh, Now we'll get to the things that I didn't care for about the game. So first of all, it's I've got about 25 hours logged into this thing and Honestly for what this game is that felt too long for me. Um, I feel like this game would have been greatly enhanced if it were maybe like 15 hours. You know, and I know a lot of people are going to say that, well, you know, 15 hours would have been pretty short for a role-playing game, but, you know, as I've said before on this channel, and, you know, I'll say it here again, I think it's best for a game to end at a point where you're still really enjoying yourself, you're still enjoying the, the experience, and when it ends, you sh ideally you should be sad that it's over, and you should be wanting to play more. And, you know, kind of on, on the other end of that spectrum, you have a game like this where, you know, you spend the last, like, I don't know, approximately like 40% of the game just like is it over yet am I okay like I've had my fun but like can we wrap this up and uh, a lot of games fall into that category unfortunately and particularly in my opinion a lot of role-playing games and especially JRPGs um, and that is unfortunately also the case here in my opinion it just drags it just goes on too long I also do remember doing quite a bit of grinding which is is like a death kiss for for a role-playing game in my opinion um 
nobody's got time for that. Look, man, that is a part of grinding is a part of 1987 that I would gladly leave in 1987. Like it's just, it's just, it's not fun. Uh, you know, of course, there may be people out there that that are into that sort of thing. In which case, uh, hey, maybe this is awesome for you. Uh, so so yeah, so the the length and. Uh, the length of this game, as well as the grindy nature, and gosh, what was that other point? Oh yes, oh gosh, yes. Uh, the characters and the writing and the story are just unbelievably boring, which is a problem. You might say, well, that's not necessarily that big of a problem, but this is a role-playing game. Like, I should be somewhat engaged in the story and the characters, and I just... They're all very blah, very, very blah. And I'm just like, why are they even wasting their time with this? Like if they wanted to make a card game, they should have just made a straight up card game. Or if, if you're going to choose to, uh, to, to build a role playing game around your card game, writing, man, writing. Okay. It's, it's all about that writing. G give me some characters that I can latch on to and care about. And that's just. For me, at least, it was totally not present here. Uh, again, their their visual design, the visual design of the characters was, like I said, very charming, very appealing. But then the text, the text starts rolling for their speech, and it's, you know, I just wanted to get through it. I just wanted to, ugh, unpleasant. Anyways, you get the gist. So, uh, how much does this game go for? You know, wh wh what are we talking about here? It's, uh, it's actually $25 at full retail price, and that is, that's way too high in my estimation. Of course, as you may be able to tell from this review, I, like, I don't recommend the game really at any price. Um, I, I personally feel like it's a waste of time, but... If it does sound like your cup of tea, certainly, certainly do not pay the full price of $25 for this thing. Now, it frequently, um, and a lot of these SteamWorld games, go on pretty deep sales on the eShop pretty frequently. Um, at the time of this recording, not necessarily when I'm going to publish this video, but at the time that I'm recording right now, this game is currently 75% off. So... If you're interested, wait for that kind of a sale, definitely. But again, uh, if you find yourself, you know, watching my channel and kind of relating to my viewpoints and kind of my my taste in video games, pass this one by. It's it's definitely a hard pass for me. Didn't care for it. As soon as this, as soon as I'm done recording here, I'm gonna delete it off off of my Switch to make space for something that I enjoy. Anyways, that's it, man. That's all I really have to say about SteamWorld Quest, The Hand of Gilgamesh. Um, oh, you know what? There is one more thing that I do want to add, and that's going to be... Um, there's another SteamWorld game called SteamWorld Heist. And I strongly recommend placing that on your wish list. That is a fantastic game. It is completely different. It also has a unique battle system, which is completely different from this one, okay, f from the battle system in this game. And it is a treasure to play, and the characters in, in that game, in SteamWorld Heist, have, you know, have a endearing personalities. The, the way that the story is told is, is just everything about that game. This is not a review for that game, but I'm just saying SteamWorld Heist, awesome. Uh, SteamWorld Quest, okay, the game I'm reviewing now, it's garbage in my opinion. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please click like and subscribe and click that little bell so you can get notified when I publish a new video. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.